Your father won't be home tonight. Business over in Dallas. Oh, my boy. He hurt you so bad. Just rest and heal. I, I have soup and porridge. Which one would you like? Go on, Captain. Make a choice. Let me show you something, Billy. My father called me. If I ever had a son, I should give this to him. It is an engagement ring. It has been with our family for eight generations. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Billy? It is what they call an heirloom. When you meet someone special, you will place this ring on her finger. It is worth a lot, this ring. Oh, shit. Must be a hundred damn degrees outside. Do not tell your father about this ring. He will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. Sophia! Stay down. Keep quiet. He's coming. Sophia, he in there? No. Sophia, out of my way! He does not deserve this. You know he does not. Don't bullshit me. I saw him with her. He's young. He likes her. He does not know better. He knows goddamn well not to spend time with some dirty little nigger girl. I will not let you hurt my son. Not anymore. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, Sophia, every day I'm out there busting my ass, tooth and nail, getting screwed out of my earnings left and right, humiliating myself just to keep the business alive. I saw them two together, Sophia, getting sweet with each other under the poplar tree. This cannot happen! <coughs> I have worked too hard for too damn long to lose my reputation because my boy is sweet on some nigger. Like this. I cook. I clean. I tend to the stables, to the field. You are not the only one struggling, right? You should have shut down the business when my father told you to. You are behind in everything. Three months behind in utility. All the money my father invested, you have lost. You are playing with fire, Sophia. What are you doing? I am not the man you want to mouth off to. And you are not the man I married. I married a man who would never let his family go hungry. So help me. I will not, will not let you hurt my son. You shut your damn mouth, or I shut it for you. <clears throat> what is it with you damn Jews? Have all the answers, do you? Smart mouth, goddamn Jew. I married you, I figured your father would be an asset. But you just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. If you can't raise a boy right, I'll do it for you. Get away! <laughs> to look at you. You are so goddamn weak. They're gonna pick on you, they will break you, they will make you eat dirt. And what are you gonna do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I can teach you how to take it. Dinner time. Yeah. Yeah, you good girl. Yes, Bessie, you such a good girl. You ain't going nowhere. Whimper all you want. In life, you got to make hard decisions. And sometimes, you got to punish the animals out there. It's kill or be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum and sickly minds and dirty bodies and cockroaches 
doing everything in their power to rob the white man of what he's earned. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger on the trigger. That's right. Now, shoot her. Shoot her! You are so feeble, just like your mother. Sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colors as slaves, and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair, and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Remember you showed me the ring, Mama? For when I met someone special? Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. Whoa! Look at this, Billy! Knocked the rat fell in the mop bucket, now he can't get out! Look at that! <laughs> Drown! Probably. Well, save him, Billy! He's drowning! It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. He's dying! He's dying, Billy! Just remember, my boy, it will end better than it began.
a secret? Okay. Promise not to tell anyone? Yeah, okay. I'll whisper it. Are you out there somewhere, Billy? Inclined to this day to endure amongst the living? Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? Annie and Howie, they followed me. They, they pinned me down and they took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property? They're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> Son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. I'm coming to kill Mama. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? Place is gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nearly a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? need a place to hide, you need money. Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? 
disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I matter. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? happened is we had a big goddamn war and now we got a new government with new rules they took her she gone and what's that queer outfit you're wearing what do you mean they took her they rounded up all the jews and the coloreds and the queers this is a white man's world now white man's got to keep it christian you sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Everything. Who in the hell did you call? 